Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this split font with a name in the middle. And I just realized it's more at the bottom than, than I was going to make it. Here's one that actually posted. It's actually a JPEG. Somebody suggested tracing it. Well, I'm pretty sure they don't want to do this name. Um, but that's beside the point. So I've already drawn out the name. And this is just the same letter O that's in the, in the font. And let's, uh, let's change our nudge distance to 0.25 and let's move this down because the fact that it was, I'm going to kind of reduplicate the whole thing perfectly. Now let's change, I'm, I, I already moved this out of the way at six inches. Let's nudge this back at six inches. Now we can try one thing. I don't know if it's going to work. We can try to weld it and that didn't work. So what we need to do is take our, sorry about that, take our circle again, our O, and let's try welding this. Work perfectly. Now let's nudge this back over. Sorry about that. I don't know why that's doing that. Because I'm going to show you some squiggles that you can add to this. Our nudge distance is still on six inches. Let's nudge that back. We need to take out this outer line. Matter of fact, I need to bring this one in the picture so I can actually see it. Kind of give me a good reference. So we're going to use our virtual segment delete key. We're going to delete. Okay. If you if your virtual segment delete key never works, it's because you need to convert that text to a curve. So let's delete that line, that line, that line, that line. We can actually go ahead and delete that line and that line. Go ahead and delete that line, that line, that line. You're just deleting. Now, if you ever get to a point, and this is a good, good case scenario here, We've got that little bit of line right there. And if you want to make sure you don't see any more. And I just noticed I cut that off. So let's back up here. Yep. I deleted the wrong line. I should have deleted this line. So I've got that line in the middle. That is in the font. So I'm going to take my font. And nudge it over. And see these lines that I do not need? If I go here and go up to range and break curve apart, then I can delete those two lines that we do not need. Now I can put this back. That's one thing nice about the virtual segment delete key. And we are done, except for I need to delete this one more line here and this line here. And then always take your smart fill tool. And if you don't know if you have a leak or not, draw you a rectangle or a square. So you won't, if you have a leak, it won't leak through your paint. But we're good to go. Looking good. Now the hardest, the, the fun starts. Get you a squiggle. And I happen to have four pages of squiggle on my Facebook page. So if you just go to Corel Draw One Word File Share and go to Files, you'll find four pages of squiggles. And here they are right here. And I just grabbed two of them. So if you're working with squiggles and you like one or the other, let's say we like this one right here. I particularly don't. But I'm going to drag it off the page. And then when I go to my work page, it's still on my page because I didn't, you know, it just shows up because it's, it's, it's outside the page. And I'm not going to go through all this, but take your squiggle and left click, right click, and you can make it as big as you want, you know, expand it, flip it, and uh, let's, let's see what it looks like in the box. Probably too big. It's, and you can just do what 
anything to your heart's content. You know, it doesn't have to be, and you don't have to use all of it. Let's just go with that right there. Now, well probably will not work in this scenario. See, it did not work. It kind of worked. And there's, by the time you figure out front minus back, let's just do it real quick. See, that didn't work. And you get some strange lines. That didn't work. So by the time you figure out how to weld it, you could have already had it deleted. So we don't need this interior garbage. I mean, it's not garbage, but we don't, we don't need anything inside the letter. As a matter of fact, we need to go here and delete that line. Let's go ahead and delete this line. And this, and this, and this. And really that won't work, so we have to get rid of that. Whoop, went too far. Okay, if you ever have a line disappear like that, you can back up and change some things. What you're, you've got to be thinking about what it looks like with it filled in with black. And we're almost there. And I'm going to, I'm going to leave the letter this time. Well, I'm not either. I'm going to cut that out. And this is just, you know, your discretion, what you think looks good. That's not going to work. That particular case right there. Um, if you're not going to cut this out, if you're just going to engrave it, it, it changes the ball game a little bit. So let's see what it looks like with smart fill in it. And I, I had the, the squiggle is too far down in the Olivia. And see, we've got a leak there because it's got, it's leaking right there. So let me back up and use that. Let me get rid of the squiggle and leave the letter this time. This is a little bit close, so let's do this. Let's take our shape tool and see all the nodes. Probably delete a lot of those nodes anyway. Whoop. Delete these, a lot of these nodes. And I should have really cleaned it up beforehand. But now let's grab all these nodes that we can and just move them up out of the way. And then we can delete that node, delete that node, and we can probably delete these nodes and get it till you get it looking kind of like a curve and now it looks pretty good so now let's see what it looks like with the smart fill tool i think well i backed up but i didn't cut this out because you want the smart fill to be able to run everywhere now i feel pretty confident i don't have a leak but if you have an older computer and it leaks it could crash your computer or take forever that look half bad. I'm not really excited about this big blob right here, but you can kind of see how it works. And just, just keep doing that. Let's back up here. Let's put another squiggle in. You know, they have some at the bottom, which will actually be easier. And, you know, think about, you don't have to use this whole squiggle. If you like that part of the squiggle, let's left click, right click, draw you a two-point line. We've got to zoom in here. Let me back up, draw a better line. Just draw a two-point line there. Fill this in with your smart fill tool and you've got a new squiggle. You've got a complete shape. Then move that out of the way and left click, right click. And then you can use that squiggle wherever you like you can mirror it and rotate it and i'm not not saying you were going to use this particular one but that's an option <clears throat> and then just take your virtual same and delete key and delete that line and delete that little click so your smart fill can fill it in there you go and just keep playing with that. But remember, four pages of squiggle on my Facebook page. It's actually on Epilogue's Facebook page. 
but I have a lot less files, so it's a lot easier to find. And they're called squiggles right there. Anyway, I hope that helped that person a little bit. Thank you for watching.